today i am going to deliver real analysis lecture 16 on oscillatory and monotone sequence oscillate and monotone sequence by dr p ramlu head department of mathematics mbs government arts and science college autonomous mahabnagar up to last lecture we have discussed about the convergent and diffrent sequence now i want to discuss about the oscillate and monotone sequence so first of all what is oscillate sequence what is oscillate sequence right here a sequence oscillate nothing but uh, it is moving like this right okay oscillate it is look like moving like this right so uh, here we have finite oscillate sequence and infinite oscillate sequence here we have here two finite oscillate sequence finite oscillate sequence infinite oscillate sequence we have we have two type of sequence one is finite oscillate sequence and second is infinite oscillate sequence what is finite oscillate sequence what is finite oscillate sequence a sequence a sequence sn is said to be finite oscillate sequence a sequence sn is said to be finite oscillate sequence if uh, if sn is bounded if uh, sn is uh, bounded but not convergent A sequence S n is said to be finite oscillate sequence if uh, right if S n is bounded but not convergent. So this sequence we call how it is so uh, how it is finite oscillatory. What is bounded? Bounded nothing but it has upper bound and lower bound. The sequence S n bounded it has upper bound lower bound. If convergent nothing but it moves it goes to as n to infinity the S n goes to some. only one unique limit here the sequence is not convergent right oh, look like how it is uh, a sequence uh, here i am taking this is uh, right a sequence is bounded first i am going to write that uh, so first value goes this uh, like this next sorry here uh, so that means uh, the value is here moving in this part only right tick 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 so that means uh, as substituting any equal right this so uh, oh here this is lower bound this is upper bound as n tends to infinity the values of sequence is moving like in its particle right if it is like like the sequence is finite oscillatory well. for example i am taking example okay so minus 1 all power of minus 1 all power of how it look like the terms of sequence the terms of sequence are here first n equal to 1 substitute here minus 1 1 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 1 the power of n minus 1 all power of n if n is positive you will get to minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 sorry even number will get power, uh, plus 
odd number will get minus one minus one minus one, right? The term is uh, n equal to minus one. So uh, n equal to one here. My sequence is minus one. So n equal to one. What happens is this minus one. This is plus one. Two. N equal to plus one. Next minus one plus one minus one plus one minus one plus one. So that's term minus one plus one minus one plus one minus one plus one minus one plus one. It is so moving like this. So therefore, we say that uh, this sequence is so finite oscillate sequence. This sequence is finite oscillate sequence. You may take other example also. Yeah, you may take other example also, right? I'm taking that one plus minus one whole power of n. Yeah. One plus minus one whole power of n. How it look like uh, the terms of sequence? Is? So n equal to put one here over here. This is zero. See. 1 plus minus 1 power 1 equal to minus 1, 1 plus 0. n equal to 1 plus minus 1 power 2 is equal to 1, that equal to 2. Next, 0, 2. 0, 2. Like that coming. The values of sequence is moving like this 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2. Right? So, the terms here, I am taking that, uh, the sequence is. Uh, this is my sequence. If n equal to 1, it goes to 0. n equal to 2, it goes to 2. That means uh, the terms of the sequence, okay. So, first go into 0, next goes to 2. 0, 2. 0, 2. 0, So, if, uh, I can take the 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, here I am taking other example. Oh, you may write uh, 2000. Uh, mm -hmm. 90. Uh, you can take two, this year 2020, right? 2020 plus. Uh, minus 1 whole power of n. How the terms of sequence so n equal to 1 substitute here minus 1 whole power of n minus 1 2020 minus 1 equal to how much here 2019 next to 2021 2020 plus 1 equal to 2021 next like the 2019, 2021. Yes, 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 right. It is doing like this. That means so uh, the terms of sequence, right? How it look like I first term is so uh, 2019. Second term, if any part, then next term so 2000. 21. So here the terms of sequence so moving from 2019, 21, 19, 21, 19, 21. So it is moving like this. Right. So therefore it is finite oscillate sequence. Right. So these are the final. You can do this kind of example other way, right? I will discuss here a sequence SN is said to be finite oscillate sequence 
if it's bounded but not converges. So, for example, all additional is square to minus 1 over 4 of n, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1. If I take this, 0, 2, 0, 2 here. If I take 5 plus minus 1 over 4, 4, 6, 4, 6, 4, 6. That means 4, 6, 4, 6, 4, 6 moving like this. So, this is finite as it exists here. 24 plus minus 1 over 4 of n that equal to 23, 25, 23, 25. Like this, moving like this. To the 19 plus minus 1 over 4, right? Uh, uh, okay, I am taking other different two. To the 19 plus minus 1 over 4 of 4, 2 than 20. Uh, the whole is like if you put minus 1, 2 than 20, that equal to 2 than 20 minus 2 than 20 minus 1. If you put 2 1, 2 than 19 plus 20, 4 than 19, minus 1, 4 than 19, minus 1, 4 than like this, right? Minus 1, 4 than minus 1, like this, right? So, terms of sequence look like this. So this is finite oscillate sequence. Next, to, I would like to so infinite oscillate sequence. So infinite Infinite oscillate sequence. Infinite oscillate, right? A sequence, a sequence, a sequence SN is said to be infinite oscillate sequence if uh, a sequence SN is said to be infinite oscillate sequence if. Sn is uh, Sn is uh, unbounded and not divergent, not uh, divergent or not. Uh, so, okay, I can say that not divergent, it's not convergent, you can take also, right? Otherwise, it's unbounded, but not convergent to minus infinity plus infinity. Otherwise, you can say that. So, as you can extend this way, infinite oscillate finite is unbounded, either not divergent to infinity or divergent to minus infinity. Okay? So, we may define like this also. As you can extend this way, uh, infinite oscillate sequence. Sn is unbounded, either not divergent to plus infinity, minus infinity, or it not divergent to infinity or plus infinity. You can say like this, or not convergent. You can say like that also. That means so uh, infinite oscillate sequence, right? Infinite oscillate sequence. Yes, nothing but uh, the terms of the sequence. I'm taking this Sn. Okay. So how we took like a, a sequence in infinite oscillate sequence? It is not bounded at all. That means it does not have lower bound as well as upper bound. Okay. So the terms of sequence moving like this. Right. So that means so it is goes like this. It is going like this. If you want, no, yeah. The terms of the sequence so first term goes to 1, 2, 6, 4, 5. Like this. That means, uh, yeah, oh, for, for example, you can observe here. Uh, uh, I would li I, uh, uh, like to take to other example. Here, oh, I am taking one example. So, simple example is uh, example. Simply, I am taking that uh, minus 1 whole power of n into n. Simple example. Right? What are the terms of sequence here? Observe here. One terms of sequence here. First of all, minus 1. You can put n equal to 1. 
minus 1 whole power 1 equal to minus 1 into 1, 1. Next to minus 1 whole power 2 equal to plus 1 that is equal to 2 minus 3, 4, 5, minus 5, 6, there, there, there. It is look like. That means so the terms of this sequence, right? The terms of this sequence, okay? Oh, uh, this sequence. I'm writing this. This is my sequence. Yeah. How it is look like? Uh, first one is minus one. Okay. Simply you can draw draw a line. I'm taking this is zero. Oh, this so I'm taking as yes. uh, here. Uh, I would like to take this uh, center why? because uh, I require a good graph. I, I want to find that a good graph. That's why I'm my sequence is so. Uh, mm, Minus one whole power of n into n. So this is my sequence, right? Here I am taking this value is so zero. This is minus one. This is plus one, two, three. 4 okay 5 6 7 yeah next see here similarly minus 2 minus 3 uh, so minus 4 minus 5 Minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, minus ten, minus eleven, year nine, ten. So uh, the terms of sequence are first one it goes to yes the term sequence goes to minus one next two goes to two next goes to minus three next goes to four next goes to minus 5 next goes to plus 6 next goes to minus 7 next goes to yeah, 8 next goes to minus 9 next goes to 10 next goes to minus 11 next goes to so that means uh, the systems of sequence will be like that either not ghost not bounded that means they don't have any upper bound lower bound but not converges to either place divergent to minus infinity does not diverge to plus infinity it is going to look like minus 8 plus infinity right so it is moving like that uh, that's why this sequence is called infinite oscillate sequence this is beautiful example like thus you can take that to minus 1 for n into n square n cube n power for n either you can take that minus 1 over power of 2 all minus 2 whole power 2 n that equal minus 1 power of n into 2 power n so so many examples are given this is infinite oscillates i will explain quickly here okay infinite oscillate sequence so uh, a sequence sn is said to be infinite oscillate sequence if it is not bounded not convergent 
ओके नॉट बॉन्डेड एंड नॉट कन्वर्जेंट सिंपल एग्जांपल माइनस वन और फोर एंड माइनस टू सर जस्ट नो वाला डिस्कस करो ओके ओके क्लिक करो इफ आई टेक माइनस वन और फोर एंड कॉमन माइनस फोर माइनस वन दैट मींस इट इस नॉट बॉन्डेड नॉट कन्वर्जेंट देर फॉर इट इस आल्सो इनफाइंट ऑफ़ द सीक्वेंस माइनस टू Minus three over four n very equal to minus three nine minus two over four right. Lima of minus one over four n is not exist. Minus one is also not exist. This also not exist right. This also not exist right. These are the infinite Oster sequence. This is also infinite Oster sequence. Okay, next topic is monotone sequence. Monotone sequence. A sequence S N is said to be monotone sequence. First of all, we have to discuss other sequence. Before going to define monotone sequence, I will define other sequence. By using the sequences, I will define monotone sequence quickly. Right. First of all, what is increasing sequence? What is increasing sequence? A sequence S N is said to be increasing sequence if. Uh, S1 less than or equal to S2 less than or equal to S3 less than or equal to the ideas. S1 less than or equal to S2 less than or equal to the ideas. For all n belongs to n. That means the sequence of the terms are increasing like this. Okay. So here. So that means the sequence of the terms or S1 set up increasing if uh, S1 less than or equal to S2 plus 1. That means the terms of sequence S1 is less than or equal to S2 is less than or equal to S3, uh, right? That is yes. again like this. That means uh, the terms of sequence is increasing like this towards. Okay, here S1, here S2. Here is three. Here is four. Okay, so like this. The terms of sequence like this. Okay, we may define twice the together, right? A sequence S n is said to be increasing. S one less than plus two less than plus three less than plus three less than S n plus one is S n less than S n plus one. Or you simply say a sequence S n is said to be increasing if S n less than plus n for all n belonging to n. For all n belonging to n, natural number set n. You may def define like this or equal like this. You may define other way also. A sequence is increasing if S n less than or equal to S n. Okay. S n is less than or equal to uh, sorry. S m is less than S n for every n greater than m. Other way also, if sequence S n is increasing, if S n less than or equal to for all n greater than m, so you can define like this also, right? So if sequence S n is increasing, if S n less than or equal to S n plus one for all n greater than m, you can define like this also. Other definition: a sequence S n is said to be increasing sequence if S n less than or equal to S n for n greater than m. So this is crucial. So why? Because I will use three definition in different different type of right. I will use these definitions, three definition in different type of proofs. Okay. As it is, then it will be increasing. You can use this, or you can say to be as less than or less than. If you remember this and this is enough, right? So most of the problem we will use this only as less than or less than plus one for all n belongs to n. Or uh, sometimes we may use this also for proving some theorem as less than or less than for n greater than or equal to. So that means that means the term of sequence are increasing. Simply you can observe that. Strictly increasing sequence. A sequence S n is said to be simply strictly increasing sequence if uh, S one less than S two less than S three less than that is S n less than S n plus one. Earlier it was S n less than equal to S one less than equal to S two less than equal to S three less than equal to. Here I am writing S one less than S two less than S three less than that is S n less than S n plus one for all n belongs to n. Or a sequence S n is said to be strictly increasing sequence if S n less than S one plus one for all n belongs to n. Okay, there is no less than equal to here S n less than S n plus one. Or a sequence S n is said to be strictly increasing sequence if S m less than S n for all n greater than m. 
एग्जाम्पल एन वन राइट इन एस वन इक्वल टू वन एस वन इक्वल टू वन एस टू इक्वल टू एस थ्री इक्वल टू थ्री थ्री वन इज लेस देन टू लेस देन थ्री देर फोर एस वन लेस देन एस टू लेस देन एस थ्री देर फोर एस एन इज इंक्रीज सिक्वेंस यू मे कॉल स्ट्रिक्टली इंक्रीजिंग ऑल्सो यू मे कॉल स्ट्रिक्टली इंक्रीजिंग ऑल्सो एस एन एस वन इक्वल टू एस एन प्लस वन इक्वल टू आई वॉन्ट टू शू अदर वे ऑल्सो राइट सेकंड डेफिनेशन आई यूजिंग ये एस एन इक्वल एन एन लेस देन एन प्लस वन फॉर ऑल एन बिल नॉस्ट एन एन आई थिंक बट एस एन इक्वल एन एस एन प्लस वन इक्वल एन प्लस वन सो एम रेट एन इक्वल एन फॉर ऑल एन बिल नॉस्ट एन इफ आई एड प्लेस वन इयर एन इज लेस देन एन प्लस वन फॉर ऑल एन बिल नॉस्ट एन एस एन इज लेस देन एस एन प्लस वन फॉर ऑल एन बिल नॉस्ट एन देर फॉर एस एन इज इंक्रीजिंग सीक्वेंस एस एन इक्वल एन एस वन इक्वल टू वन सो इयर आई एम यूजिंग थर्ड डेफिनेशन एस वन इक्वल टू एस टू इक्वल डेट एस वन इज लेस देन टू इम्प्लाइज एस वन इज लेस देन टू टू इज लेस देन थ्री दिस इम्प्लाइज एस टू लेस देन एस थ्री सो दैट मीन्स एम इज लेस देन एम इज ग्रेटर देन एन विच इम्प्लाइज और के दैट एस एम इज लेस देन इक्वल टू एस एन फॉर ऑल एन ग्रेटर देन एम इयर एन नथिंग बट दिस एस एम लेस देन इक्वल टू एस एन फॉर ऑल एन ग्रेटर देन एम दैट मीन्स वन इज एम इज लेस देन टू यू कैन राइट दिस और दिस ऑल्सो सो दिस इज थर्ड डेफिनेशन एन स्क्वायर एस एन इक्वल एन स्क्वायर एस एन प्लस वन इक्वल एन प्लस वन I am writing. The, I am using second definition always for proving this. N is less than n plus one. For I am showing this is increasing sequence. N is less than n plus one. N square is less than n plus one whole square for all n plus one. Which implies S n is less than S n plus one for all n plus one. Therefore, S n is increasing sequence. Example two power of n. S n equal two power of n. S n plus one equal two power of n plus one. N is less than two power n plus one for all n plus one. We know that. If I apply two power n is less than two power n plus one for all n plus one, right? It is this is nothing but s n. This is nothing but s n plus one. Therefore, s n is increasing sequence. S n is increasing sequence. Decreasing sequence simply. Earlier it was less than equal to. It is greater than equal simply, right? If sequence s n is said to be decreasing sequence, so if s one greater than equal to s two greater than equal to s three greater than equal to add as s n greater than equal to s n plus one greater than equal to add as for all n plus one, we may define like this. Or A sequence S n is said to be decreasing sequence if S n greater equal to S n plus one for all n belonging to n for all n belonging to n. Or a sequence S n is said to be decreasing sequence if S m less than equal S m greater equal S n for all n is greater than m. S m is greater equal S n for all n is greater n greater than m. Here this will not be changed. Earlier it was S m less than equal S n. Here now S M greater than equal to S N for N greater than M. This cannot be changed. If uh, so many times you are making mistakes here, writing here S M greater than equal to S N, you are writing here also M is less than N. It is not correct like this. So this N change only. This cannot be changes. That means the terms of sequence is uh, decreasing. The terms of sequence are decreasing, right? Uh, it goes to towards. Okay, it is look like the graph is look like the downfall. Okay, how how to the uh, Okay, how it is the form? So the terms of the sequence are decreasing, right? The so this is S one here, S one here, S two here, S three. So they are just S four. So here the terms of sequence S one is greater than S two, greater than S three, greater than S four, right? So looking like this. Strictly decreasing sequence. Simply, you can write to uh, infra for greater than. You have strictly greater than here. A sequence then is said to be. S n is said to be strictly decreasing sequence. If S one greater than S two, greater than S three, they are as S n is greater than S n plus one. Okay. Or a sequence S n is said to be strictly decreasing sequence. If S n greater than S n plus one for all n belongs to n. Or a sequence S n is said to be strictly decreasing sequence. If S n greater than S n greater than S n for all n greater than m. For example, one by n. S n equal one by n. S one equal one. S two equal one by two. S three equal one by three. One is greater than one by two greater than one by three. Therefore, S one greater than S two greater than S is greater than S three. So this is therefore S n is decreasing sequence. This is first definition. Second definition I am applying. S n equal one by n. S n plus one equal to one by n plus one. Let n is greater than n plus one for all n belongs to n. One by n is greater than one by n plus one for all n belongs to n. This nothing but S n is greater than this nothing but S n plus one. Therefore, S n is decreasing sequence. S n is decreasing sequence. Right. Third definition I am using here. S one equal to one. 
S2 equal to 1 by 2, S3 equal to 1 by 3. 1 is less than 2, which implies S1 greater than S2. 2 is less than 3, S2 greater than S2. 3 is less than 4, S2. Therefore, Sn is decreasing sequence. We may call this is strictly decreasing sequence also. You can call this is strictly decreasing sequence also. 1 by n square. Sn equal to 1 by n square, that equal to Sn plus 1 equal to 1 by n plus 1 whole square. Uh, you know that n is less than n plus 1, n square is less than 1, n plus 1 whole square. 1 by n square is greater than 1 by n plus 1. If I uh, reciprocal the sign will be changes. 1 by n square is greater than 1 by n plus 1 whole square for all n belongs to n. This is nothing but Sn, this is nothing but Sn plus 1, therefore Sn is decreasing sequence. 1 by 5 power n, Sn equal to 1 by 5 power n, Sn plus 1 equal to 1 by 5 power n plus 1, n is less than n plus 1 for n belongs to n. 5 power n is less than 5 power n plus 1 for all n belongs to n. 1 by 5 power n is greater than 1 by 5 power of n plus 1 for all n belongs to n. This is nothing but Sn. This is nothing but Sn plus 1. Therefore, Sn is decreasing sequence. Question. Give an example of sequence which is both increasing and decreasing. Give an example of sequence which is both increasing and decreasing. C, I am taking that the constant sequence. This is C, where C is belongs to n, right? Every constant decrease is increasing and increasing, right? Sn equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, right? S1 equal to four, 2, 3, 4, right? Means all are equal. Sn equal to C, right? Sn equal to Sn plus 1. Sn is uh, C, both increasing and C, right? Because what do mean is that S1 is less than or equal to S2, less than or equal to S3, less than or equal to, right? Means less than or equal to equal if it also, you say that this is. Uh, Decreasing sequence or increasing sequence. S1 greater than equal to S2 greater than equal to that equal is there. That means the sequence is increasing as well as decreasing. That means how it is look like the constant sequence is so look like this graph, right? So that means it is increasing and decreasing. So all terms equal. Every constant sequence is increasing and decreasing. I want other example, right? Give an example of sequence neither increasing nor decreasing. If I take this minus 1 over 4 of n. S1 equal to minus 1 over 4 of n, right? S1 equal to minus 1, S2 equal to 1, S3 equal to 1. That means S1 is less than S2, less, greater than S3, less than S4, divided as well as. That means Sn equal to minus 1 over 4 is nice. That means S1 is less than S2, less than S3, then it is increasing. S1 is greater than S2, greater than S3, it is decreasing. But less than, greater than, less than, greater than happens. That's why it is neither decreasing nor increasing. The sequence is neither increasing nor decreasing. Therefore, this sequence so minus 1 for is the example of the given question. Similar minus 1 for also is neither increasing nor decreasing. That means the terms of the sequence are goes to light. That means infinite oscillate sequence, if I take any infinite oscillate sequence so that are neither increasing nor increasing. Right. Monotone sequence. Our definition, right? Monotone sequence. A sequence SN is said to be monotone sequence if either increasing or decreasing. Simple, right? A sequence Sn is said to be monotone sequence so if either increasing or decreasing. So this thing you have to remember. Example n 1 by n n square. So these are the this is increasing, decreasing, increasing, decreasing. Simply what you remember if uh, if new number is n, uh, we can say that is increasing. If denominator n, we can say that that is a decreasing sequence. Simply you can write. If we have mixing of uh, numerator n and denominator n, we will be solve that kind of problems later. We will using some other theorem, some other methods, right? No, don't worry about thing, right? So this is constant 2019, 2020, So that means these are the constant sequences. We know that constant sequence is increasing as well as decreasing. That means it is. So uh, these are the monotone sequence. If I take this minus one over four n, uh, right? Uh, this sequence is neither increasing nor decreasing. Therefore, it is not a monotone sequence. So, minus 1 all power of n is not monotone. Why? Because it is neither increasing nor decreasing. S1 equal to minus 1, S2 equal to 1, S3 equal to minus 1, S4 equal to 1. So, therefore, right. So, these are the neither increasing nor These are the not monotone sequences. Theorem. An increase in sequence is bounded below. An increase in sequence is bounded below below let sn be a well, bounded below nothing but oh, it has lower bound the sequence has lower bound simply you have to remember we know that sn be a increasing sequence let sn be an sn be an increasing sequence so, what is the definition of increasing sequence so, s1 less than or equal to 
x2 less than or equal to x3 less than or equal to dash dash x3 less than or equal to dash dash right. From this, I will write here s1 is less than or equal to sn. I am removing these terms. I am writing that we know that you all obviously right s1 is less than or equal to sn for all n belong to n. That means there exists to this s1 belonging to R such that s n is equal to s1 for all n belonging to n. Which implies S n is bounded below sequence. So that means it has lower bound, right? Or depending on that, the exists k belongs to such that S n is equal to k one. Then S n is bounded below sequence. In place of k one, what we have is S one. So which implies so S n is bounded below sequence. S n is bounded below sequence. Yen one two three four. Example. See, it is bounded below sequence. Why? Because already we discussed the bounded below sequence, right? This is one, two, three, four. Lower bound is one. It is bounded below sequence. Five n, five, twenty-five, one twenty-five, six twenty-five. So that means the lower the lower bound of the sequence is five. Not only five, you can take that oh, one, two, three, four also lower bounds. This is bounded below sequence. Zero. And decrease sequence is bounded above. And decrease sequence is bounded above. Same. Let S n be a decrease sequence. What is definition of S n greater than equal to S two greater than equal to S three greater than S n? From this, I am writing as S one greater than equal to S n for all n plus one, which implies there exists S one plus two R such that S n is less than equal to S one for all n plus two n. So that means here this is upper bound. Therefore, S n is bounded above sequence. S n is bounded above sequence, right? So a decrease sequence is bounded above and decrease increase, right? That means so oh, if it is increasing. We have lower bound. We don't know about the upper bound. If it is decreasing, it has a uh, upper bound. We don't know about the lower bound. It goes to I don't know about the whether whether it is upper bound or not. No, we will say that increasing sequence has lower bound. Decreasing sequence has upper bound. This thing we have to remember. Simply as example, I am taking that one by n that equal to one, one by two, one by three. It is bounded above sequence. It is bounded above sequence. One by five for n that equal one by five, one by twenty five, one by two five. This is upper bound of this sequence one. Not only one, you can take two, three, four, but the upper bound is one. Therefore, it is bounded above sequence. One by five, one by twenty five. This is uh, lower bound. We have this. It is uh, bounded below sequence. That means so uh, it has bound lower bound. Uh, this is bounded. Uh, okay, yeah, bounded above sequence. Some problems. Which of the following sequences are increasing, bounded, and decreasing? One by n minus one over n n square sine n pi by seven minus two over four n n power pi n by three. Yeah, to verify given sequence are increasing or decreasing. Principles you have to write that. Oh, this is practical one. Nine principles: sequence, range of sequence, bounded sequence, increasing sequence, decreasing sequence. Method. So I can get right influence supreme already. Why? Because already we know about the bounded nail. So already we defined in last lectures. Can write your own these things. Method one by n, right? Let S n equal to one by n. S n equal S n plus one equal to what? Happen here. S n plus one equal to one by n plus one. S n equal to one by n, and S n plus one is equal to one by n plus one. Let n is less than n plus one for all n belongs to n. Here one by n already we know that one by n is greater than one by n plus one. n is less than n plus one, one by n greater than one by n plus one. For all in this, right? This is nothing but sn. This is nothing but sn minus one. Sn is sn is greater than n is sn minus sn plus one. Sorry, here it is sn plus one. Sn is greater than sn plus one for all n belongs to n. Therefore, sn is decreasing sequence. Right? We have to find that. Oh, what we have to find? Oh, we have to find sequence and increasing sequence. So uh, increasing, bounded or decreasing. So that means we have to find bounded. I am finding about the range. Range of S n equal S n such that n plus ten, one by such that n plus ten. Already we know that infra S n equal to zero, super S n equal to one. That means supreme of that means all the terms of goes to zero, right? So this term lima S n zero. Supreme already we know that one and infra is zero. S n is bounded. Yeah, minus one over four of n by n square. S n equal to minus one over four of n n square. S one equal to minus one, my one by four. S three minus one by nine. S four equal to one by ten. S1 is less than S2, greater than S3. Greater than, that means S n is neither decreasing nor increasing, neither decreasing nor increasing. But range of S n equal to S n such that n plus n belongs to n. 
minus 1 over 4fn by n square is that 1 by n all for n minus 1 1 by 4 minus 1 by right is uh, infinite is equal to minus 1 supreme is minus 1 by 4 therefore sn is bounded sn is bounded right okay n power 5 sn equal to n power 5 sn plus 1 equal to n plus 1 all power 5 let uh, n is less than n plus 1 n is less than n plus 1 for all n belongs to n n power 5 is greater than n plus 5 all power 5 this is nothing but sn this is nothing but sn plus 1 for all n belongs to n sn is increasing sequence here sn is less than sn plus 1 for all n belongs to n sn is increasing sequence range of sn equal to here sn such that n belongs to n n power 5 such that n belonging to n the terms of sequence are again put n equal to 1 here 1 2 32 3 2 43 like this inform of sn is equal to 1 this is lower bound this is 1 inform sn equal to 1 but upper bound i don't know about the term of sequence is goes to infinite that's why super sn is does not exist therefore sn is unbounded it is decreasing sequence sorry increase sequence but sn is unbounded if i take the sin n5 by 7 sn equal to sn sin n5 by 7 s1 equal to sin 5 by 7 that equal 0 0.422 s2 equal to sin 2 5 by 7 equal 0 0.77 sin n5 equal to 5 minus 2 5 by 7 you can write the, uh, this also s3 equal to sin 3 by 7 that equal 0 0.97 sin 5 equal to 4 by 5 that equal 0 0.97 right which implies that s1 is less than s2 less than s3 that equal to 4 greater than s5 s6 s7 that means uh, we know that sine function is graph of sine function is uh, looking like this is graph of sine function is moving like this so that means it is moving like this up down up down that means the graph of sine is uh, now either increasing now decreasing similarly the graph of here also the terms of so are going to increasing equaling and decreasing Therefore, SN is neither increasing nor decreasing. So, this is neither thing, right? I know, we know that mod sin x is less than or equal to 1. Uh, that means the values of sin n pi also less than or equal to minus 1 less than or equal to sin n pi by less than. Therefore, sin n pi by 7 is bounded. E. Minus 2 whole power of n. Minus 2 whole power of n, right? SN is equal to minus 2 whole power of n. Um, sn plus 1 equal to minus 2 whole power of n plus 1. Here, s1, s1 equal to minus 2, s2 is equal to 4. Substitute here, here simply. Uh, minus 2, 4, s minus 8, 16, like that. Right? S1 is less than s2, is greater than s3. That means, here, here, s1 is less than s2, is greater than s3, less than s4. So, that means, s1 is neither increasing nor decreasing. Nor decreasing. Neither increasing nor decreasing. S n neither increasing nor decreasing. Therefore, range of S n equal to S n such that n belongs to n. Range of S n equal to S n such that n belongs to n. So, minus 2 power n equal to n belongs to n. So, minus 2, 4, minus 8, 16, the idea is. Infinite S n does not exist. Super S n also does not exist. Therefore, S n is unbounded. F n by 3 power n, s n equal to n by 3 power n, s1 equal to 1 by 3, substitute n equal to 1 by 3, this is equal to 2 by 9, s3 equal to 3 by 2, that's right. s n plus 1 equal to n plus 1 by 3 power n plus 1. I am taking different way here, considering s n minus s n plus 1, that equal to n by 3 power n, n plus 1 by 3 power n plus 1. If I simplify, you will get here 2 power n minus 1, here this is 3 power, here 3 power n already is there, 3 power n plus 3 power n into 3, the s n is 3 n, minus n plus 1 by n plus that equal to 2n minus 1 by 3 power n plus 1 for all n belongs to n 2n minus 1 by 3 power n plus 1 for all n belongs to n which implies sn minus sn plus 1 is greater than 0 for all n belonging to n here this is you can observe n equal to why because 2n minus 1 okay, if n equal to 1 2 minus 1 equal to 1 by 3 that means this is positive if you any substitute any equal to any value, this will be positive, right? This is greater than 0. This is greater than nothing but SN minus SN plus 1 also greater than 0. Which implies SN minus SN plus 1 is greater than 0 for all n belongs to n. Which implies SN greater than SN plus 1 for all n belongs to n. Therefore, SN is decreasing sequence. SN is greater than, that means first two form is bigger. Therefore, SN is decreasing sequence. The range of SN is SN greater than n belongs to n. You can put here. N by 3 power n, n plus 
वन बाय थ्री टू पावर एन थ्री बाय ट्वेंटी सेवन फोर बाय एट बाय अपडेट गोस टू इनफाइंड वैल्यू दैट ऑब्जर्व यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट दिस पॉइंट जीरो जीरो लाइक दिस वी कैन सिंपली ऑब्जर्विंग दैट द पॉइंट्स आर गोइंग टू जीरो यू कैन टेक दैट नॉट ओनली माइनस